so we're here with Sejem and uh, we're taking a look at the Puma phone with Sylvain Gomier. Hey Sylvain, how are you doing? I'm there. Well, I'm yeah. very fine because we've just revealed the new Puma phone. Yeah. That's the one and only sport lifestyle device from the brand. So this is actually the, the favorite screen. That's the one you get when you power the phone. And on the back side, what you immediately see is the solar panel. Very nice. This very solar cell that lets you uh, charge the power from the sun. And well, the benefit is that from one hour under the sun, you get as much as 15 minutes for a voice call. You get as much as 35 messages or nearly two hours of MP3 playback just for one hour under the sun. Cool. So, well, back to the favorites. You can go left to the sports menu and right to the lifestyle menu. And this is obviously because Puma is a sport lifestyle brand. So, well, have a look at the sport apps. Um, the pedometer uh, is using the motion sensor to track your steps. So that's one of the sporty things. And you see that the look is uh, very analog and clunky. That's the Puma way. It's like running machines, right? right. And if you go to the bike tracker, well, this one will feature bike tracker, I said. Thank you. This one is featuring uh, a GPS to track your distance and speed because it's much higher than just steps, for sure. Another example of the Puma Spirit in sports is the stopwatch. Again, with this analog, you can feel that lets you a press it, that lets you uh, pinch the buttons immediately. So you see, it's clearly a phone uh, packed with features, but with a much different personality than what you used to see. Definitely. It's the Puma Paw all, all through it. <laughs> And on the lifestyle side, well, we have all the usual application. There's a web browser. It's a WebKit browser, actually. So, other things that you find is, uh, well, the music player. Let's have a look at that. This is the way um, Puma is expecting people to enjoy music. And for the fun of it, you can actually scratch immediately on the disc. So, um, other things include FM radio, a calculator, uh, messaging is also of interest. You can, of course, send SMS, MMS, email, just about everything. Uh, but more, more than that, you have Puma icons to spice up your messaging. So if I want to replay to this conversation, for example, I can just type a message right there. And uh, for sure, you have a QWERTY keyboard as well. Nice. That's uh, pretty standard these days. And well, this is a regular text message, but I can add stuff. And using the Puma language, the very same icon that you see on labels for shoes or t-shirts, you can add um, fun things. <laughs> so as messages are short, well, you can share a lot more emotions with icons. That's the Puma way to do things again. Very cool. So, I mean, uh, it seems like uh, a lot of the selling points on this are in terms of flavor, uh, but uh, what, what are the specs like underneath the hood? Well, that's a, an enhanced feature phone, you would say. Um, it's uh, ARM-based and the system is proprietary. It's actually a Sajem system that we've tweaked specifically for Puma. Right. Um, the screen is 2.8 inches. It's a QVGA resolution. Uh, we do have a 3 megapixel camera on the back with a flash LED. Nice. Um, well, what I can say, it has uh, 3G obviously with uh, HSDPA and HSUPA. So you're, you're fully uh, capable to upload and download everything you need. Okay. Um, and you also have a sister GPS obviously for maps and to be able to track your workouts. Use them for red run tracking or bike tracking. Very cool. So uh, when and where can people get this? Well, the phone will be available in April 2010 in Europe. It will go out in the five big countries of Europe and then will be extended to uh, Eastern Europe and, and then Turkey, uh, Turkey and, uh, and Russia. And we'll also ship to Africa, uh, probably in time for the FIFA World Cup, mm. uh, in South Africa, that's for sure. And then we'll also extend to Asia and uh, South America. So you see the design is pretty compact, very sleek. That's exactly the kind of phone that you can slip in the back pocket of your jeans uh, to just go out and have a drink. It's cool. clearly not a business phone, but yeah, that's Puma stuff. I mean, it's cool, it's young, it's quite colorful, especially the interface. Very nice. That's, uh, I'm, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing that coming out soon. That's uh, the uh, Puma phone from Sejan, and this is uh, Intermobile at uh, Mobile World Congress.